Revenge of the Sith's Battle of the Heroes recreated in Amazing Clone Wars animation. Star Wars, Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith's epic lightsaber battle between Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi has been perfectly recreated in the animation style of Star Wars, The Clone Wars. Created by George Lucas and helmed by showrunner Dave Filoni, The Clone Wars animated series quickly became a popular expansion of the Star Wars franchise, providing a detailed look at the events that took place between 2002's Attack of the Clones and 2005's Revenge of the Sith. Beginning with the early days of the titular conflict, the show would eventually catch up to Order 66 and other pivotal events depicted in the prequel trilogy's final movie. Now a fan animation house, Hello There Animation, has recreated the final moments of Revenge of the Sith using the Clone Wars signature animation style. Check it out below. While more recent shows have proven the franchise is capable of successfully telling stories without featuring Jedi and their signature weapons, lightsaber duels are still one of the most iconic and instantly recognizable components of the Star Wars brand. From the franchise's very first fight between Alec Guinness wizened Obi-Wan Kenobi and his former pupil, nearly every movie to follow would feature a series of bigger lightsaber fights with even higher stakes. Yet as beloved as the original Star Wars trilogy and its initial lightsaber battles are, most seem to agree that the prequels offered a far more energetic and visually impressive glimpse of what members of the Jedi Order were capable of. Offering several impressive fight sequences across all three movies, the prequels peaked with the final confrontation between Ewan McGregor's Obi-Wan and his fallen Padawan, played by Hayden Christensen. Fast-paced and resoundingly intense, Revenge of the Sith's Battle of the Heroes set a new benchmark that the franchise has never been able to beat. What makes Revenge of the Sith's final duel so iconic is not just the action, but rather the importance it has in shaping the future of the wider galaxy. While Anakin's fall to the dark side is subtly hinted at throughout the entire Star Wars prequel trilogy, his decision to face off against his master is what eventually cements his real transition into Darth Vader, far more so than swearing his allegiance to Darth Sidious or his role in Order 66. It was what Anakin's defeat meant for the future of the galaxy at large that made the fight impossible for other movies to beat, not the impressive choreography. <laughs>